Yes. And my name is Frederick. My name is Tucker Maxim Sumo. Hi, my name is Abby. My name is Patrick Suba. Good morning. My name is. My name is Hi, my name is. I'm Joseph. Okay, with us we. Healing of our. So this morning we are at the Fifth Emmanuel Lutheran Church, um, located um, 65 Penn Boulevard, East Lansdowne. Today, after several months of being away because of the COVID-19 um, outbreak. They are reopened the church for worship and we want to see what has been done in, in, in terms of um, um, safety for the environment as people uh, um, uh, come to church this morning. It will be a very wonderful experience as people explain what have been their own experiences I mean during the, the course of their absence from the church and what do they hope to see as the church reopens as a congregation of this great church in East Lansdowne, Pennsylvania. So follow me as we go along. Hello, uh, friends. This is Pastor Moses Dennis, uh, pastor of Faith Emmanuel Lutheran Church of the Southeastern Pennsylvania Senate, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. It was March 12th when we had our last worship service in this building. And today, on July 5th, we are back in the sanctuary and we are calling it welcome back to the sanctuary for worship and other activities and the first thing about stress we are adequately prepared for social distancing for the cdc recommendation on mask wearing and the use of hand sanitizer as you can see we actually also doing the temperature taking so when people get here like me i was depressed if you check the list they took my temperature we put the date and the time and then I was handed a bottle of hand sanitizer and a mask that will be used during washing. And so we are very excited to be back in the sanctuary. On the sanitizer, we handed out to our folks. We wrote Exodus 15, 21, I believe. It said, I am the Lord who heals you. We believe church is therapeutic. It has a physical, it has spiritual and emotional healing component. And these are the benefits we want our people to have as they come back at the same time practicing what the medical experts are saying to help us destroy and defeat this virus. So we are glad to be here. God is with us. But at the same time, we are also following the medical procedures. And we are very certain that uh, our people will live here better than they came. And they will, will be an example of what it means to bring God's people back together in a safe way like we've been doing during the last three months over Zoom or Facebook and using conference line. But now that Delaware County is in green, we are allowed to worship and we thought it would be fitting to bring God's people back together, practicing safe uh, social distances. Um, I'm Naomi and I'm basically giving out hand sanitizer to members of the church and also Matt. Dennis, I mean, what's the importance of your role here? What, um, what you guys are doing? What makes it so important? We're just trying to keep everybody safe. Keep everybody safe. People are arriving on this beautiful Sunday, sunshiny Sunday. And they're back to church after church is reopening. It's very exciting. People are arriving to form part of this great mass of congregation. To renew their praise and the worship of the God. You will notice um, as folks arrive for worship. Um, we're going to come. And we're going to. We're going to go to one of the members of the team who are showing um, COVID uh, safety measures. So we're going to take the temperature. So her temperature is okay. She's going to put her name down after the team has taken the temperature. So the next member of the team is um, Dennis. Dennis is showing that I mean, things are done. And uh, they're going to issue what you call um, sanitizer. So the member. 
development are coming to. Doing since the church closed. I've been, I've been working as a COVID nurse, that's it. <laughs> oh, COVID nurse, that's good. Hi, my name is Abby Tablo, and welcome back to church. <laughs> um, I'm excited to be back in church. I'm excited to see familiar faces. I'm excited to fellowship, and I'm excited to hear the word. Um, during the time away, I felt a little sad. I missed my church family. I missed um, some of the people that I'm used to seeing every that regularity of everything. Um, I'm, I'm excited to be back in church. I'm excited to see everyone. And I'm excited to, you know, fellowship with each other again. Um, I'm expecting high spirit. I'm expecting excitement. I'm expecting just to see genuine smiles and, and happiness. My name is Josephine Togba. I'm happy today to be here. Thankful to God to celebrate in the hospital. I'm so happy. Jesus. I need time to explain my pre coming back. At least I can see my people face to face. They will say you see the mask, but I can see them face to face. I thank God for that. First of all, I thank God for this time because in life there's always situation. And these things happen. As centric over things happen, things take place, things take place over and over. But we give God the glory for faith in Nana Luther Church and churches around the world that stood on the ground to pray for the people, to pray for the world, and to pray for our leaders. I thank God that when church was closed, we did not close our mouth for God. We said, pray, leading Bible study, leading service through the Zoom and over the phone, and still talking to people, visiting people, but keeping the distance. today um knowing that <laughs> we would come in today you finally got the reality of what we always wanted you know to have other christian brothers and sisters so i'm excited i look forward to a wonderful service okay and i appreciate being here this is also an appreciation because so many people left here and they did not turn to the i'm back here so i'm grateful for Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Benda. I'm one of the ministers here. Um, I'm glad to be back today after several months of being away. Um, 
the church did not actually close. We met continuously by way of Zoom, by way of the telephone line, and by way of Facebook. We were always in touch with one another. We were ministering, we were praying, we were trusting God, and God had been faithful throughout this time. Another thing to mention here is that most times during crisis time, believers tend to come closer together. My hope and aspiration, or rather our hope and aspiration is that we will know that in bad times, just as we come together in good times, we need to come together and communicate and praise our God. That way you know from your heart, we know or we are zipping to the word that indeed God is not a God of season, he's a God of all time. But in short, God has been good and we've been working hard in terms of keeping over one another, encouraging one another. I've been blessed, you know, and I'm thankful. Today we come together here just in fulfillment of the word of God that we must not forsake assembling together as a manner of some is, but rather to continue to come together and encourage each other. But I must tell you, brothers and sisters, we have church. We were still meeting. The church of God is moving and we are stronger than before. Thank you very much. My name is Tucker Maxim Sumo. I'm vice I'm president for the men's department in the church. And um, I'm happy to be back at the church. Uh, during uh, the lockdown, I mean, I'm a registered nurse and so I was on the front line. Uh, helping patients that are down with COVID. Lost some patients, but I'm glad to be back and I'm glad that uh, the uh, COVID stuff is over there so that we can come to normal. Uh, my expectation of coming back to church is that we should follow the social distancing rules. Um, we're all going to be very careful, uh, not shaking hands, not hawking, you know, doing things that will make sure that we'll be safe in service and all of that. So I hope that uh, as we come back, we're going to keep following the social distancing rules so that, I mean, we can continue coming to church and kind of beat this viral situation going around. So I'm thankful to God that I'm back. Thank you. My name is Patrick Sewell. Um, I have been to my little church. Um, a few months when the church was closed, uh, we had the option of going on Zoom, uh, where the, um, the pastor did a good job of restoring that in, in a couple of weeks after the church was closed. So I was on Zoom most of the times. Um, there was, I mean, it was different, obviously, being at uh, the church, uh, the whole entire world was experiencing something different. Um, but we still kept contact, pastor called every week, three times a week, four times a week, Bible study. Children ministry for everybody. So we're on Facebook Live, we're on Zoom, we sit at home, we watch we the service at home. Sometimes pastor will come in the church by himself or something we just want to um, It was different, but we, we adjusted to it. Um, so far, when we heard that the church was opening back um, in the first week of July, they kind of brought excitement back because now we haven't seen members of, of the church or church member in a couple of months. Uh, uh, we meet again, we got to see everybody and, and being worshiping in the church in the company of the whole congregation. So, uh, very, very amazing. Uh, something that I missed. Yeah, my name is Rebecca. ourselves according to the health the health people and we follow all the guidelines and also during that time the church was being held online which I was a part of the prayer, prayer line was open 
in the afternoon every day from Monday to Friday. But I bless God for the time I was fat with them. It was wonderful. It was beautiful. It was great. We had a lot of members attending the services online and both on the prayer line. And um, I felt a little bit okay, but I missed my church family. But spiritually, I was fine because I was always being fed the word of God. And I'm happy today to be back at service with my children. We are all blessed to be back to meet one another. I was praying for direction, direction of the Holy Spirit, so I live more so spiritually, so the kingdom of God will come to unity, because that shows that Christ wanted us to come together, so the body of Christ to be strong. I'm Josephine Bethlehem, member of Faith Ibanian Lutheran Church. At first, when we have the school, I don't know how I feel. I feel so bad because we are not meeting together and we used to fellowship. So it was a burden for me. You don't want to miss the worship. So as the church gets up to now, I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy. Because we meet together, we make friends, we, we make friends. So now I'm happy. Even though you have stress, when you come here, you forget about everything. Because we are one family. So I appreciate it and I thank God that this thing we caught off with Jesus. I'm Ophelia Jai Bosch. I have been member of the Church for the past 13 years. And for the past weeks, I have been away from church. I have been feeling so bad. But now I'm back. I'm so happy that we are now in front. And my expectation to Healing of our body, healing of our soul, and healing of our spirit. God alone can do it all together. And the way He does it is when our spirit connects with Him and when we worship in His spirit and in truth. This is a new experience. But as the book of Ecclesiastes says, there is nothing new but nothing happens. Amen? Even in the desert, when God threw an afflicted by the bite of snakes, Moses the servant of God tried to grow. God going to raise a serpent so that any person who is bidding, when they look upon that serpent, they will be healed. Hallelujah. Amen. And today we have Jesus. He's better than the serpent that will hang on that for. Amen. He went to Calvary, the Bible said, He bore our infirmities. He took our sins on that cross. And the chastisement He took was intended for our healing.